Welcome back to Easy Math with Miss Easley. Today we're going to learn all about bar graphs and I'm really excited about today's lesson because I'm going to show you all about how to use Google Forms to get some data that gets turned into a bar graph. So we're going to look at that. I'm going to teach you a little bit about all the parts of the graph first. So let's get started. All right, so we're on lesson 26, all about bar graphs. And I'm gonna start with just kind of explaining what they are, what they do, the parts of the graph. So bar graphs are all about a graph that represents categorical data. And what that means is just data that has categories. Okay, so just to give you an example of what categorical data is, if we were trying to figure out everyone's favorite color, maybe in your family or in your class, you could make a bar graph that shows the different categories, the different colors. So let's say we're asking them of these colors, red, blue, and green. Okay, we could ask everyone's favorite of those three and then you would start get collecting the data and we could make bars that represent each one of those colors now before i just start making a bar though um there's really no way to tell how many people voted for red if i just make a bar like this and there's there's no numbers to show how much that is. So another thing you need on a bar graph is a scale or a number line over here to show how much this represents. Okay, so let's say our scale starts at zero and then let's say in this case we'll count by twos. Okay, two, four, six. Okay, and then let's say, so in my family, four people voted for red. And then if three people voted for blue, how do I draw that bar since I don't have a three on my scale? Okay, great. So we've got to get it right between two and the four and make our bar like that. Okay, and let's say that five people voted for green. Okay, let's make that bar. All right, so this bar graph um, represents categorical data. The categories are red, blue, and green as the favorite color. It has a good title. Okay, we always want to let people know that are looking at our graph, what is it all about? So the title's gonna give that away. It has to have category labels. Okay, and then it has to have a scale or interval. So a number line that is showing you how many of each category are represented. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to make a Google form to where you can collect data for a bar graph. This one I'm going to be collecting people's favorite things and I'm gonna have them choose all of their favorite things in some different questions that I'll create. So the first thing you wanna do is just make a title, write a description, and then you just start in with Question one. So I'm going to start with favorite candy on this one. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is make sure that you click multiple choice so that you can type multiple options down. So when you're making one of these, make sure you click multiple choice. I'm starting with some candies. Skittles are my favorite, but let's put in Snickers. Um, Reese's peanut butter cups, 
And you can really kind of make this however you want to. If you want to make one similar to mine, you can pick out your own different candy. Okay, let's do Twix. And the last one, I'll do one more and I'll make it another one of my favorites, which is Chewy Sprees. All right, and whenever you're done with a question, you just hit that plus sign at the top over on the right, and then you can make as many questions as you want. On this particular one, I think I'm gonna just do four different questions. This next one, I'm gonna do place you'd most like to travel. And these are gonna be different types of places. So a beach resort, let's think of another good one, a ski mountain, that's a popular one. And then let's do a city downtown. And one more, let's do a lake. Let's change that to a lake cabin. All right, then. Again, just hit that plus sign so you can start a new question. And I'm going to make this one favorite sport to watch. Okay, we'll start with one of my favorites, basketball, football. And I have to admit something on this one. I forgot a lot of my friend's favorite sport, especially Ben, reminded me. I forgot baseball on this one, so I'm so sorry, baseball fans. I've got some other options for you, though, and when you make this, be sure to include baseball if you're doing favorite sports. Okay, and for my last question, I think I'm going to do favorite season. And then just like before, just start typing in all the different options. And now we're done. So when I first shared it with people, so you just send it in an email. When I first shared it with people, I got four responses pretty quick. And I could start looking at my data already. And you can see that it starts making bar graphs for each of the questions. So that's awesome that we can practice this with a Google form. So you can kind of see it's showing a bar with a number of how many people voted for that. And then the percentage too, that's kind of interesting. So then later on, I checked it and six, I got 16 responses. Then, as you pull back up your Google form, you'll see this, where you can look at the questions. Then, up at the top, you can also click Responses. It'll tell you what number you have so far. There's my 16. Then you can click on that. And if you stay on Summary, it gives you a little summary of all of your questions, which is where the, the bar graphs are. So this first one is favorite candy. You can see that four people voted for Skittles. I like how when you hover over the bar, it gives you the number. Three Snickers, two Twix, six Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and one Chewy Sprees. Now I want you to pause the video and tell me how many people did not vote for Skittles. All right, great. 12 people did not vote for Skittles. All right, then we can just scroll down to check out the next bar graph. So we have place you'd like to travel. Beach resort got, looks like, eight responses. 
Okay, Ski Mountain got two. A Lake Cabin got six. And actually, no one voted for the city downtown, so that has a zero. Now figure out how many more people chose the beach resort and ski mountain than the lake cabin. Okay, awesome. 10 minus 6 is 4. Now let's take a look at the sports. So we have basketball, 7. Football, 5. Swimming is 2. Soccer is two. Golf and tennis had zero. And it is kind of funny to think about these numbers would be way different if I had remembered baseball. <laughs> now let's figure out how many people chose basketball, football, and swimming combined. Okay, great. Seven plus five plus two is 14. Good work. All right, now let's scroll down and look at the favorite season bar graph. So again, there's 16 responses. For fall, we had seven. For winter, we only had one. Spring was four. Summer, my favorite, was four. So how many people did not pick fall as their favorite season? Great, 16 minus seven is nine. Great work, everyone. I hope that you feel confident enough to try out your own Google form sometime. It would be really fun to try that out with your family or friends and get some good bar graphs out of it. See you on the next video.